I don't know how much people realize that wherever you go in the world, people talk about the Indianapolis, and they're talking about the violin competition. The International Violin Competition of Indianapolis provides an unprecedented opportunity for violinists throughout the world. I can honestly say, hand on heart, that this is possibly the highest level of uh, violin playing from young people that I have ever in my life seen in one place at one time. The eighth quadrennial competition attracted 165 violinists from 32 countries. This was a huge and extremely competitive pool of violinists. We accepted 40 violinists who represented 12 countries. Because of the four-year nature of the violin competition, it has often affectionately been called the Olympics of the violin. It also has been called the Indianapolis for short. The goal of the competition is to search the world for the finest young talent and launch a major solo career for them. We prepare all, all our life for this event like this. All 20 years, how you studied, how, what you played. Forty violinists, ages 17 to 29, compete for some of the most coveted prizes awarded in international violin competitions. Perhaps the most important part of the prizes is the post-competition career support. For four years, the Indianapolis launches and manages the careers of the top six finalists. It's my job to help the winners with their new careers. These careers often change overnight, and they go from being a student to being a professional that's traveling from city to city, playing a different piece every week. the Joseph Gingold Gold Medalist of the 2010 International Violin Competition of Indianapolis, Clara Jumi Kang of South Korea. Thank you.